Hey everyone, Happy New Year. Wait. Let's hope this, or actually let's know that this year is going to be the best one yet. More on that soon. <sighs> A quick numerology lesson for um, anyone out there who is interested. Uh, I'm doing readings. I was going to upload a load yesterday, however, internet completely went flat. Like, completely. Anyway, this numerology lesson is... I was doing research into numerology, listening to Cryon. I found out about the ancient Tibetans using numerology over 4,000 years ago. Now, the number zero stands for wholeness, creation, or the universe. It may have other meanings as well, this is just as I understand it. Number one, unity and oneness. Number two, duality and polarity. Number three, a catalyst, so something that kind of springboards into something else. Number four, Gaia or Earth. Number five, change. Number six, magic or mysticism. Number seven, spirituality. Number eight, the infinite. Number nine, completion. Now, obviously, there's number ten, but that would be one, because you simplify all double numbers into one number. However, there is three master numbers. Number eleven stands for illumination. Number 22 stands for strong duality. Number 33 is a representation of DNA or Christ consciousness. 44 and above in master numbers are concepts yet unknown. However, angel numbers and angel signs are a different thing. This is uh, numerology as understood by the ancient Tibetans. So, I hope that was helpful. Don't know if you can hear me. Don't know how long it will take to upload. However, this is to um, help when you want to look at a certain date. What you do is you look up the numbers, you simplify the numbers. So, for example, if it's the 1st of January, then you look up 1, 1. And then the number of the year, so this year is 2018, so the numbers add up to 11. So... The year is the year of illumination. Or you could look at it as a year of duality, because 1 plus 1 equals 2. So you could look at it that way. Or you could look at the 1 being the more dominant, because it's a 1 day, a 1 month, and an 11 year. So, anyway, that's how you can predict future events using numerology based on the numbers. You can do the same with names as well. However, I hope that was helpful. Um, I'll be back in a bit. Much love to you.